Hello everyone to the final episode in our stat tracking mini series. In the previous episodes we set up the code and the basics of the UI to show that code. However at the moment our UI doesn't show any update, it keeps it at zero. So I can jump, I can shoot and it doesn't update our stat at all. So let's go about making that change. So the first thing we do is have to tell our stat tracker to have a bit of code to tell it to update. So my graph here, this is currently set up to a construct, so all this needs to be also updated. So for that, I'm going to create a custom event called update uh, tracker. And that's going to plug into set text. In fact, before it does that, uh, no, actually, let's put that onto there, sorry. Um, and then at the end of this, one thing we forgot to put in is our function set progress bar. We'll drag that in and plug that out. Okay, so when this event's called, it's going to basically rebuild our construct. So it's going to change the, the text, read the stat again, and change the text for that, and then update the progress bar accordingly. So that function is now there. Close that, and let's go to our menu stats UI. So on menu stats UI, we want to be able to get hold of each of the items inside of our entire uh, menu here, and tell each one to update. So I'm going to go to my graph. And I'm going to create another custom event here. And the custom event is going to be update or here we go refresh stats. There we go, refresh stats. And the refresh stats and the construct again are going to share the same code. So let's just track, uh, crack this in. So we're going to get all widgets of class. And we're going to get hold of all our stat tracking widgets. So stat tracker UI and plug that in. And for each of these, this uh, array here, this is an array, it's like a list. And if we do a for each for this, it's going to run this code that we can plug into next uh, on each of those items. And each of those items is a stat tracker. So I can go out here and tell it to update the tracker. Plug it into loop body, and there you go. And as I said, you want this to be tied to construct as well. So plug that into the construct as well. Compile, and then finally we're going to go onto our HUD and go to the graph and look at the code in our function toggle stats. And when we make it visible, we want to call the update and refresh. So drag your menu stats out at the end of the force branch and then tell it to refresh the stats. And that's going to then cycle through all the stat tracking UIs and tell them to up update. Hit compile and close this. So now if I push play, shoot a few times. So that weren't working. So let's double check something. Let's go into our menu stats UI and go to the graph. And yes, yeah, so we want to untick the top level only. When you have that ticked, it's basically just saying only look for the stat tracker that is plugged directly into the viewport. We don't want that. We want it to look inside of all the widgets inside the viewport. So it's going to look at all the stat tracking uh, that's happening on the screen. So with that unticked, we click compile and let's now test and play our game. So I shoot a few times, I'll jump a few times, hit tab, and you can see these now have been updated. And let's turn it off and do a bit more. And there you go. So as you can see, I still move about. Um, I can't look around because the mouse control is now on the UI. Um, if you want to turn off the control here so you can't move about and whatnot whilst this is on, uh, you can do that. Go to your control object. And when we do toggle here, we need to tell the toggle to basically tell it to deactivate, and enable, and disable input. So let's go to our toggle. Sorry, that's not on the controller, that's on heads up display. Go to graph. And inside the graph here, at the end of each one of these, we're going to enable and disable input on the player character. So get player character. And this is uh, when it's visible, so disable input. And this requires a player controller. And you want to do the inverse up the top as well. So we're going to do, um, we need both of these again, so copy these over. And enable input. And that just tells that the character itself can't move when the menu is open. So you can't move. But now I can move. 
and there you go and that is a your stat tracker now as i said um the progress bar will complete when your jump has or in this case jumped has reached 10 so one more and you can see i've reached it my number's going up still that's totally fine um because the progress bar is now showing it's complete but it's still tracking that value and that brings us to the end of the stat tracking series big thank you to all my patrons for their support if you want to watch other videos by myself you can find loads early before anyone else over on patreon.com forward slash ryan laley donation just one dollar will get access to many videos before anyone else plus many other benefits as well such as discord access and exclusive videos if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you have a suggestion for future content or a future series, please leave a comment below. I'll be interested to see what you guys want to see next. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.